Hello YouTubers, I'm Barwiz and this is this is our 20th video in uh, Qt5 C++ GUI application development. In the previous video, we have talked about uh, creating animations in Qt5 uh, using Q property animation. Uh, and this this is from the previous video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can cr control your animation using a Q async curve in Qt5 C++. I'm using my previous example. Uh, if you uh, if you don't if you haven't watched the previous video, I highly recommend you to watch the previous video. So now let's get started. I'm going to open my uh, main window.cpp and in here uh, before starting my animation, in here I'm going to create a Q easing curve. Uh, Q easing curve. I'm going to call it uh, curve. And now you can. Uh, uh, now you can set uh, the type of your curve. Uh, there are different kind of uh, curve that you can use. Uh, for example, uh, the first one that we are going to use it, it is a uh, out bounces. Uh, you can see if I bring here, we have out bounce, we have out circ, we have out back, and we have out curve. Uh, there are diff different you can use and you can try. So I'm going to use out bounce and now I'm going to set my uh, curve to my animation uh, animation and uh, set curve uh, animation uh, set easing curve uh, set easing curve to the curve okay uh, now if I run my application uh, you will see that it, it will have an uh, out bounds uh, out bounds uh, easing curve and uh, let me it's going to build and after building uh, yeah okay now you can see uh, before this you can see now uh, it has an out bounce in here uh, like this okay and you can change this for example if you want uh, uh, out uh, for example out uh, out elastic you can use and you can run this uh, you can try by yourself uh, different kind of uh, async curve uh, now you can see it's uh, it was uh, elastic like this okay now let me uh, change this to uh, out bounce uh, because we are using this example okay also you can uh, set your loop count uh, for example I want that the animation should be for three times uh, uh, in a loop uh, you can set this uh, animation and before uh, this uh, before let me in here uh, before setting your curve animation uh, set loop count to three and if you run this uh, it will loop three times your animation will loop three times uh, now it's going to run uh, it will it will loop three times also if you want to uh, set the loop uh, an infinite loop uh, you can use minus one instead of three you can use minus one and uh, it will be and um, the uh, animation will be infinite like this okay now right now it's three times after three times the animation will be stopped also you can set some another uh, for example if you want to set the uh, amplitude or set our shot or set period you can use this for example in here uh, uh, in this section I'm going to use a curve uh, dot set amplitude for uh, I'm going to give it a 2 it has a, a QRL number and if you run this uh, you will see a difference in our animation uh, if you make it higher you can do this but I give it two. now it's going to run now you can see uh, like this okay? uh, also you can for example uh, curve uh, dot set our shot uh, you can make it 1.3 uh, 
30 also um, curve dot set period uh, you can make it 0 0.50 and if you run this you will see a difference in the animation and uh, okay you can see uh, like this uh, thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and uh, in the next video we will cover a group animation in Qt5 uh, subscribe to the channel and also like the video